C7 News at 11. Recent news about toddlers being killed by falling television sets are a much needed reminder of just how important it is to make our homes safe for our children. Just last week, you'll recall the story when police said three year old Shania Singleton of Chicago was crushed when a TV fell on her head while well, she was playing with her brother. Now, that followed the death of a suburban Arlington Heights boy when a TV fell on him just 10 days earlier. The Consumer Product Safety Commission says between 2000 and 2010, there were 245 tip-over related deaths involving children eight years old or younger. So, we thought it was a good idea to show you what products are available to help protect children from home-related dangers. So, joining us today is Holly Schultz. She is the president of babygizmo.com, and thank you for coming in today. Now, your site, Ray and you review more than 25,000 products and yes. you give mm -hmm. price comparisons. Yes, it's a product okay. resource site for parents. Okay, okay great. great. Okay, so now we're talking about right. these TVs falling over. It, it's very dangerous and people don't think about it. So what parents need to do, and people, that even if you don't have kids, if you have kids visiting a lot, mm -hmm. you want to strap that TV, the big screen TVs, the big TVs, and the big pieces of furniture to the wall. As you can see, um, on the back here, you can, there's screw holes, and okay. you screw it to the back of the TV. This goes against the wall, and it prevents it from tipping forward right. onto the child in case they climb the furniture. Um, you can put it on a TV stand, but it's safest on the wall. How do you, right. how do you get that to the wall? Do you have to hammer it? It does. You actually yeah. screw it. You I mount see. it onto okay. the wall. But you can't see it behind the TV, right. so right. it's not ugly, so, okay. but it's very so safe. Then, and most TVs come with... Yes, yes. All the big TVs are going to have okay. holes in the back. Okay. And the, um, these are by Kidco, and they... Uh -huh. come with all types of different screws to fit. So okay. it's definitely going to work with all the TVs Great out idea. there. Great okay. idea. Mm -hmm. Great right. idea. And we remember these when our stars mm -hmm. were little. Yes. You know, um, there's a lot of injuries um, with the electrical mm -hmm. um, outlets. So what we want to do is you want to cover the outlets. There, you can use the standard outlet plugs, mm -hmm. but sure. these are by safety first. And they pretty much lock into the, the outlet. You have to push okay. three buttons in order to remove them. Oh, okay. So the toddlers can't get them out. Right. Okay. This, you can also do it would replace the outlet cover yeah, it slides and over, right? yes yeah. exactly all you have to do is take this and slide it over to plug it in mm -hmm. okay. um, like that oh that's easy enough okay. yes yeah and if you have something that you want to leave plugged in such as a lamp or humidifier mm -hmm. get a box this is by Kitco as well mm -hmm. you just open it up easy for parents but hard for the kids to do uh, no, I... and it's a cord winder as well you plug it in uh -huh. you wind the cord around it and then the cord and goes the oh very nice again. perfect okay. so they can't mess it's with it it's not easy to open right, right? no okay. no you great. have to push a button so okay. Okay. great great okay all now right. if you have kids or if you have kids visiting you want to lock up all your medication um, that includes antacids vitamins anything that kids shouldn't have um, our baby gizmo tip is you go to the hardware store get a toolbox that locks don't get a key lock because the kid finds the key, uh -huh. they're right. in. Okay. What you do, get the, the combination lock. By the time they figure out the three numbers, they know it's medicine not right anymore. Right. right. Okay. So put that up, high mm -hmm. shelf. Mm -hmm. Don't put just the medicine on a high shelf because climbing kids could be lethal yeah. to them. Yeah. Okay. 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 Right. okay. And cabinets. Okay. You know, cabinets always hold the household cleaners, yes. things again. We don't want those kids to get to, especially during the holidays or, you know, you can't keep an eye on them all the time. Mm -hmm. These are by Roost okay, and they are cabinet closures, mm -hmm. right? And it, first of all, you don't have to mount anything on your mm -hmm. cabinet, um, which is great. You just put it around either the oh, knobs so or... So it's fairly easy to get on there then? Yes. Okay. But hard for the kids to get off. Right. So it prevents them from opening How easy it. is it to get back in? I remember having some of these and yes, thinking, right. I can't, I can't, I can't break yeah. into this. Oh, you can get them off very easy, easily easy. as a okay. parent and those are by roost okay um, and then what do we have over and here then? finally and gates now mm -hmm. you want to block the stairs because you know kids fall down the stairs a uh -huh. lot you, at the top of the stairs put a um, hardware mounted gate only okay. and that one is by even flow okay and it is called a home decor gate so it kind of matches your decor has different wood stains different, colors, different styles okay. yes okay. exactly mm -hmm. and the other one is a pressure is mounted gate that okay. could be for yes. the bottom of the stairs yes. uh -huh. or, right. you know, to black them off from the room to room. Uh -huh. I always wonder, do these stay pretty well, these pressure mounts? Uh, they, they do. They do. They, they do. Just don't yeah. put them at the top of the stairs. Okay. Yeah. And that one is a cross-town gate by Evenflow, and it folds up into a bag to take with you. Oh, okay. very nice. 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 Multi-purpose. Okay. We love that. Thank Thanks. you so much, much for coming in.